I'm excited to do this. This is going to be fun. These dungeons are so well done. Keen Games just knocked it out of the park. I mean, this whole this whole game, the whole Enshrouded franchise is just amazing from start to finish. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go tackle the Revelwood Hollow Halls. Um, so, first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to upgrade our flame, because I have all of the stuff here, gathered all that up, and uh, let's do it. Huzzah! <clears throat> all right. Give us one point in attributes, another minute in the shroud. Um... Access to higher level shroud areas and uh, more more altars, I believe. I think those are all the perks, right? Yeah, we get a flame level, more altars, attribute bonuses, more time in the shroud, shroud passage. Uh, what is the next level, by the way? Yeah, we'll need the sickle scythe head and then all of the stuff that we get from um, the, uh, the desert area. <laughs> Can't think of what it's called for it at the moment. Um, all right, so, excuse me, I have, um, a pretty decent stock of, uh, stamina potions, a full stack, and one of health potions. We got our eternal spells. I'm bringing, uh, the acid bite with me that I currently have, because, uh, it'll probably help with the larger groups of peeps. Uh, one thing we do need to do, though, is we need to actually make the rebel with bone key, so we need 50 ecto and 20 bones. Oh. I'm glad I remembered to do that before we took off. Uh, all right, so let's see here. Split this in half. And I have bones in here, I think. Yep. Okay, let's make that key. It's a done deal. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to make any of these. Eh, probably you not. Will. They're, uh, they're pretty powerful, but they run out so fast is the thing. That's what I don't like about them. Um, all right. I think we're about ready to do this. Um... I'd kind of like my next wizard armor set, but if I go after that and do all the stuff to get it, we're going to level up again. And we're already level 20, which is a little bit high for Revelwood. So I think we're just going to go, you know, with what we have and make it work. Okay, so let's go into our journal. We want to go to Ectoplasm Press for the Collector. Set that as the active. Show it on the map. And it's way up in that direction. Mark of Samoth. So I think we'll go to the Ancient Spire and we'll fly uh, due west. And if I remember... Actually, no, I think we need to... Haven't we not done that obelisk? There's probably some shroud roots and stuff over in these spots, too, that we could hit since we're going to be in the area. Um, <clears throat> this looks like it might be a little bit small for a shroud root, though. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll go see what that is. All right, let's do this. This is going to be a, a very long episode. Um, <clears throat> however, I may have to split it into multiple parts if, it, if it's too long. We'll just see how it goes. All I remember is that uh, when we ran this dungeon on multiplayer, and I've only done it that one time, um, that it took us a long time to do it. So, all right, let's just pop down here and see if that is anything significant. And then we'll come back up to the spire and then go the next direction. Um, I think, yeah, let's just hold off on our... Um, our buffs and stuff. Buffs and stuff. Yeah, this might be an underground shroud route. 
Might as well grab another spark. Um, we'll take that. That's glow dust. Two sparks. Very nice. Uh, there's some honey. Alright, so... There was a root that I recall from Season 1. Oh, shit. That we had to kind of go into a tunnel to get to. That's a clay mine there. Grab some of this stuff whilst we're at it. Oh, shoot. Now it's getting dark on us. Dad, gummit. Ugh. All right. Let's just... Uh, let's just do the usual. See you in the morning. All right. We are back here. Let's pick this guy up. And we're going to need to... Make another one. Get some stone here. Okay. Um, let's go. Well, we're gonna have to go down into the mucky muck. What the hell, man? There's a bunch of amber there. please. Thank you. Hey, cut that out. These guys are rude. Absolutely rude. Okay, let's go up this direction. Um, we need to go up through here, I guess. Yeah, there is a cave up here. There's just, yeah, two passages going the same direction. Let's pick these shrooms. Get the Piggly Wigglies. And I think if we want to drop down here. remember where to go here. This cave's a little bit confusing. It's got a lot of glow block in it, though. Guess we should probably... Oh, shit. Oh. My, sc my skulls always scare me. They scare me. Let's do a couple more there. There's a shroud root in here somewhere, isn't there? It's Piggly Wigglies. Got a gold chest. Warrior trousers. Not really useful to us. I'm missing something, obviously. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. There's the root. Guarded by shroud pigs. Let's 
So I think I was supposed to jump down here. I just took the wrong turn. All right, we got bugaboos. Yeah, that, that whole waiting for my aura to kill them thing takes just a little bit too long in a lot of situations. That's a level 11. We have a 17. Okay, that gave us a point. Um, I've pretty much used all the spirit and intelligence single ones that I can use. Um, I... I Healing. Health gain from healing spells will be increased. I mean, this would be good. This would be good for me to get for myself at, to get to this intelligence, but this. Right player, yeah, see, that, that doesn't do us a damn bit of good in single player. We could do this, but I don't. I very rarely parry, so I just don't think that's worth it unless we do it for the purpose of damaging enemies with wants as 20%. Oh! Ooh, now that, that would be good, actually. That would be good. All of this wand stuff would be good. Going up into the battle mage tree. Hmm, yeah, we should maybe do that, actually. We'd get access to one, two more intelligence and one spirit and really good wand damage and mana replenishment. I think maybe we're going to do that. I like that idea. So we got to uh, get two more points to get our arcane deflection in order to unlock that stuff. All right, cool. Um, all right, we're finished here. There's no nothing else to do as far as I know. There's a couple things up that way we could check. I know we're supposed to be doing Revelwood, and we will. Uh, I'm Revelwood Hella Halls. But I just want to kind of complete all this other stuff whilst we're in the area, too. And, uh, you know, this is just almost certainly going to be a multi-part episode. And there's just nothing for it. So, there you go. Uh, go to journal. Oh, okay. We actually have a quest for that. So, cool. No. What are you doing? I thought I was going the wrong direction. I want to go down here. Okay. Um, why don't we take... One of those for quick stamina replenishment. Let's do this. Whoops, I missed my jump. Oh well. <laughs> we'll hit this obelisk. I think there's another route over here that we can grab too. Look at that. We just barely skimmed the top of that cliff. I think we're going to bypass the Piggly Wigglies. see here. That goes up to Samoth. So I think we want to go this way. Yeah, I like I actually like those battle mage 
um, perks, talents, skills, whatever you want to call them. That's pretty good stuff. Because, I mean, we use our wand a fair amount. We certainly do. Alright, let's take a look. Keep going up this way, I guess. Uh, well, actually, this path probably veers off to the left. Or not. Where does it go? Oh, this uh, this is the back entrance to the Samoth, Samoth's place, I believe. And yeah, we don't need to go there. Says it's down this way. All right, boys. says there's an obelisk here. Oh, there it is, right there. Right in front of my face, just about. That doesn't surprise anybody, does it? Me, least of all. Pause the screen to read that. And pause the screen to read that. Read all the obelisk and the revel woods. I just got a a uh, thingy for that, an, an achievement. Okay, so that takes care of that. Since we're kind of close to this area, let's move down here and see what else is going on. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a route, but it looks like there's two things over there. Kind of looking up here while I have a little bit better view. another camp over here. Bandage and a greater mana potion. Take it. Okay, we need to go this way. Let's go ahead and buff up. Um, we'll take one a little mana po or a shroud potion, and we'll take one of those. We should actually go farm a couple more of those up before we go all the way into the hollow halls. Yeah, there's going to be a root in this cave over here. Grind Teeth Grotto. Uh, over here. I remember this place. This is kind of neat in here, actually.
bugaboos. It looks cool in here after you get rid of the root. But before you get rid of the root, it still looks like shit. Okay, we we need three points, I think, to get this, right? Yeah, so we're two out of three. Good. Alright. Um I think that yeah, that takes care of that. There's that well that's where we're actually going. Um There's a flame sanctum there. Okay, let's go back to the the spire. And we'll set that as our waypoint. And let's go. Okay, yeah, so we need to go up around this way. I remember when we came here the first time, it was a little bit interesting to try and find the place. That's the spider cave that we went into to get the spindle, isn't it? Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Speaking of spiders. Let's keep going this way. Nothing here. Except for this. Archer gloves. Oh, you know what? Um, there are a couple of pieces in the alchemist set, which is higher than our mage set, that actually would be beneficial for us to do. So I think we'll go back to the base before we jump into the hollow halls and, and get that stuff. Oh, almost went down in the hole there. the shrine sanctum I always get shrine and sanctum and altar mixed up in this game don't really see anything to loot alright so there's something up there Get up there. It's up there on that cliff. Oh, uh, or maybe it's okay. Maybe it's down in a a cave below the cliff. Oh, you scared me, dear. Dearly goodness gracious. Amber. Yeah, whatever that is. Is it possible that it's down below? Ah, yep. Here we go. Eh, I don't think we need that. This this way, okay. It's really hard to see in here, but I'm I'm trying to save my glow potions for when we go into the hollow halls. 
Here, let's get this light out. This will be... Yeah, this is much better. Okay, we got a bad dude there. Explosion ball. No. No. Throw it at that. Damn it. Save some wand durability. There's a mess of amber. Definitely take all these, too, because we need these for the larger mana potions in addition to the reagent stuff we have to make. Hey. Come run on up to me and die. Just like a good monster. Just like a good monster should. You die too. Thank you. He was an accommodating monster. Maybe a treasure or something. All right, let's go here. And we're going to go up the Battle Mage Tree um, by getting Arcane Deflection. On successful parry, gain 20 mana. So we're going to have to start trying to do a little bit more parrying. And all of this stuff's going to be really good when we get to it. Okay, so that brings us to a gold chest here with a level 15 legendary staff. We have a level 16 legendary staff. So, yeah, this is exactly the same thing. It's just one level down. So it's not doing us a damn bit of good. We'll salvage that. Uh, let's salvage this as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, let's just work our way to the hollow halls. We'll set down an altar, then we'll go home and sleep, and then we'll jump in and get started with that. Um, I would like to get to that flame shrine, though, too. But I can, yeah, we can do that later. Okay, set as waypoint. And can I work my way along the cliff here? Doesn't look like it.
Okay, I think we have to go around this way. Oh, geez, we're all turned around. Here's a... Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. Alright, we're out of the muck. And there it is. Monster over there? Okay. Let's get our altar set down. And let's go home. And do the usual. Meet you guys back here. All right, guys, um, <laughs> I, I noobed out. I had what I call an old guy moment, and I forgot to start the recorder again. Um, all I, well, I did two things. I went up uh, to all the way up to here to Glenwood's Inn and got that flame shrine and just had to fight a couple bad guys. Uh, so nothing, nothing significant happened. Um, but then, as you can see, I went to go, I was going to try and make a couple of the herbalist pieces, and I realized that we, somewhere along the line, have unlocked the magician set. When I looked at this yesterday, after I finished yesterday's episode, this still hadn't been unlocked. So something we did today, whether it was leveling up or leveling the flame, unlocked this set. Uh, so I made the hat, the chest, and the trousers, but I can't make the boots or the gloves yet because of the fact that those require leather. So can what we could maybe do, well, the gloves, that would give us 18% healing. And that would give us mana regeneration. So it might be worth, oh shit, though, these require leather too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that isn't going to work either. Damn it, Jim. Okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just did those two things, and I thought I was recording, and I was talking to you guys, and it turns out I was talking to myself. Um, so, so the thing is, is, is I'm trying to decide if I want to go after the, um, oh, what the hell is it called? The tannery, so we can get the leather, so we can make those pieces. Um, and if we did that, yeah, we've got quite a bit of dried fur. Um, if we did that, then we might as well get Emily's Almanac, too, because they're kind of in the same area. And, you know, that way we can make the better food before we go into the Revelwood. The only thing about that, though, is that we'll probably level up another level by doing those things. And I just, you know, I didn't want to get too high, you know, in level for the Revelwood dungeon. Cause I, I looked it up and there, uh, I saw that it was recommended that a player is about seven, around level 17, 16, 17 to, to go in there. And I mean, we're already, you know, based upon that anyways, we're already like, three four levels higher than the recommendation um so the other option is just you know to to stick with our mystic gloves uh which actually isn't bad we get we get um i think all of the enemies in there are considered magical and we get extra wand damage so those gloves actually don't suck mage boots are not the best thing in the world but yeah, I, I, I think we should just go. I think we should go do it because, you know, we, we could even potentially level twice more if we go do both of those quests with all the turn-ins and then we're going to really be over-leveled for that. So I think we're just going to go. 
Okay, so let's do it. Let's head on over there. My plan is just, you know, to get started with the first part of the dungeon, and then we're going to have to end this episode and just resume it uh, in the next episode. Because, yeah, this is going to take us a while. All right, let's open the door. I'm excited to do this. This is going to be fun. These dungeons are so well done. Keen Games just knocked it out of the park. I mean, this whole this whole game, the whole Enshrouded franchise is just amazing from start to finish. You know, and it's so refreshing to to see people do a game right in, in more ways than one, you know. Uh, so it's just really good. Okay, we should probably buff up. Uh, well, actually, let's not buff until we run into our first... Uh, or see our first set of enemies, which probably won't be long from now. Pro in fact, yeah, as soon as we open that gate. All right, let's see what this has to say. I curse thee, Flame, for taking it all, for ruining my family, my life, my status, and for ruining me. My life is in shambles, set ablaze by your foolish laws and restrictions. They won't bind me any longer. I rebuke the ancients. I spit on the flame. Anyone who crosses my path, daring to have a pulse, will be shattered and crushed. The precious life blood spilled will warm me at last. Darius. Okay. So, some dude named Darius is pissed off at the man. <laughs> um, okay, there's nothing up here for us. I will not be breaking a whole bunch of chests and stuff in here. I know some of you like me to do that, but that it's just it's going to make an already very long situation impossibly long. So, we pretty much aren't going to be doing that. I'm sorry in advance, but that's just the way it is. Okay. Yeah, you can't shoot uh, through the iron there. So just everybody chillax. I'll get to you in a second. Uh, oh, I was going to go get more of those. Well, okay, I guess we're going to do without. Uh, we don't need those yet. Why don't I have my flask of the fell? Oh, I wanted to check something else out, too. Can I set this down in here? I can't. Okay. Damn it, Jim. All right. Um, right. I'm going back home to get Flask of the Fell. We'll drop off this fireplace. I thought maybe I could use it, you know, for a rested bonus, but we, we can set down... Uh, if we die, or maybe I should say when we die, we can set this down, and that'll give us a rested bonus. Except for, I guess we can't pick it back up, so I'll have to make another one. All right, I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I went uh, up and grabbed a couple more of the elixirs from the um, from this place up here. Uh, here, hill of scavengers, and also farmed up a little a bit of wood and made five uh, more campfires. Okay. Now we are ready to go. No more screwing around. Let's do this. These are all level 15 characters. We got our... Necromancer Skull Buddy helping us out here. Nice. That's not what I meant to do. Open back up. Lightning. Okay, here we go. Into the first level. This was just the entry. <laughs> Shroud survival flask. Our first repair station. Um, did these... Do these expire? I don't know if they do or not. Because the thing is, is if we do die, um, we may lose them. 
and not having to use it all. There's a scroll of some sort. Oh, nice prayer of flame scroll. In fact, you know what? Since we have two of those now, I'm inclined to use one to buff up even more. It's 20% damage, baby. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hopefully we'll come across a few more of those, too. We need to re-buff our spirit. Everything else is in pretty good shape right now. Okay. I've only been through here once. It was on multiplayer. It was chaotic. And I don't remember a whole lot about it. I do remember that we're going to have a big, long ladder to climb and a couple of really interesting slides. <laughs> um, and that it's a long dungeon. Other than that, I don't remember a whole lot more about it. Good lord, it's dark in here. Okay, I think it's time for one of these. We're on fireball, right? Okay. Alright, we got some enemies in here for sure. Lots of enemies. Can I get up on here? Oh, that hurts. <laughs> well, the nor- oh shit. The normal fire doesn't hurt, so I wasn't sure, you know? Okay. We better take one of these. Yeah, don't get on the normal fire. Coming down this way. Nice. Something's killing them. Oh, it's probably my skull buddies. Yep. Look, <laughs> it's going around in circles. Wow, how many of these guys can I have at the at a time? That's I don't think I've ever seen three. I've seen two. Huh. Cool. Uh, let's put you guys down there. And yeah, don't step in the green fire. Note to self. Not a good idea. Okay, so there's a way to go left. And we get to a room where we're going to need to get two runes. We'll go back and go to that left route in a second. I just want to kind of look and see what's going on over here. More bad guys that way. Alright, let's go back. And we'll go down this left passage. Oh, wow, we nuked him. Okay. Got all of them? There's something back up over here. Alright, let's open this door. Lootable. Poisoned copper arrows. There it is. Okay. Oh! Okay. Didn't realize that was gonna spawn bad guys. Is my my dude gonna get him? Oh, he's going after them. Close enough. There we go. Alright, let's 
still have a couple bad bads down here. Hey, rude. Okay, we'll loot all this stuff. Oh boy. Whoops. <laughs> okay, we better take a health thingy. Um, our skulls are keeping him busy. So we can do this. You're still not dead yet? You are now. You're not dead yet. Looked like I was still losing health for some reason, like I had a dot on me or something. We need to get an upgraded heal spell, because it's not really doing the trick as much as it used to. Which makes sense, of course. Okay. Right, we're ready to proceed back this direction. <sighs> we're going to go through this door on the right. over there. That was a spawner, I believe. Oh yeah, that's a spawner too. It seemed like it was saying that, that that was ineffective, but it seemed pretty effective to me. Experience scroll, nice. Let's open the door. There's bad guys behind this door, I can hear them. Check this guy. There's some of the red loot, or I'm sorry, red brick stuff. Uh, no, I'm not going to dismantle a book right now. Fireball 2. Um, oh, I see what we got to do. Okay. While we're up here in a safe-ish spot, let's, um, two, three, four. There we go. That's good. All right. Are 
Are we gonna have more bad bads come through the door? Doesn't look like it this time. And we're into the next section. Are we gonna get a spawn point place in here? Uh, man, that's gonna that's gonna be interesting. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm gonna stop the recording and then. Uh, just start right up again uh, for the next episode, and we'll just continue on here in the Revelwood Hollow Halls. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.